So like a lot of people, I was pretty excited when Apple released the iPhone 12 and especially happy when I found out that there's going to be some mag safe accessories for your car. But it's been about two to three months since the iPhone 12 came out and I haven't really seen any good quality uh, MagSafe chargers. Apple has authorized Belkin to sell a MagSafe car holder. However, it's just that, it's a car holder. And for anybody that wants a solution to be able to charge your phone and hold it at the same time while driving, this video is for you. Now, before I get into the video, if I could kindly ask you guys, look for the subscribe button somewhere on the screen and smash it for me. I really appreciate it and it'll help my channel grow. I'm gonna head to the office and show you guys the few quick things that you need. Some of these things you might not even need all of them, you might have them laying around the house. So this is a relatively inexpensive hack for you. I have all the links below if you do need to purchase through Amazon and again, they're really cheap. Okay, so to do this, you're gonna need a few things. One of the things you're gonna need is a MagSafe charger. Now this is an alternative MagSafe charger. It's just an alternative that I bought on Amazon. It's quite cheap and the reason why I suggest this one over the actual MagSafe charger is because it's USB-C, which is great. So it charges by USB-C. A lot of my devices use USB-C. So as I think Apple is gonna move away from lightning uh, you might benefit from using USB-C over lightning but if you don't want to use this cheaper alternative you could simply just use a Apple MagSafe charger but I'd recommend this one because again it's a lot better than the MagSafe charger at the back it has a kickstand here which is going to come in handy later other than this you're going to need velcro strips so I have velcro strips here I had them lying around excuse the carpets on it it did fall um, onto my carpets before the video, but you're definitely gonna need to pick up uh, some Velcro strips or any other thing to stick the charger onto your dash in your place of choosing. Relatively cheap, you could buy this on Amazon and all the links are gonna be down below in the description. This one is optional. It is a USB-A to USB-C charging cord. This charging puck also comes with one of these as well, but uh, if you could swap it out for any other kind if you want to go with the aesthetic of your car. I might just stick with uh, this one or I might just swap it out, but this is relatively cheap as well and I have a few of these already lying around the house. And the last thing that you're going to need is a USB fast charging port for your vehicle or just a USB port in your car. You can use that to charge it up if your car already has it or you can just buy a fast one, which I did. So you're going to get your Velcro strip and I already have one that's kind of cut but you want to cut it to match the back plate here that you're going to use so you can measure or you can just freestyle it take the scissors chop it something like this and then i'm going to take the back plate and stick it on the back like that Put the back plate back on and there you go i have a little bit of a velcro strip and now i'm going to go back to the car and show you the rest of the video okay so i'm going to take the other velcro strip that i have and just cut it maybe like this i don't want to cut it too big i just want it to match the cut that i made earlier onto the magsafe alternative charger and now that i have it i'm just gonna put it like so right over here and put a little bit of pressure on it now it's on the car and then i'm gonna take the puck and just put it right on there and now that i have the magsafe charger on the velcro strip all i need to do is plug it into here and then i am able to uh, charge it so let's get a cable going now and i'm just going to plug the usb c charger into the usb c port at the back here and there you go, I have it in. And now that I have it in, I'm just gonna put this right back there. And now it's on. And now all I have to do is take my iPhone and then put it right over here. And it's on. I just gotta turn on the car and now it's charging. So I have it charging here. Again, I'm gonna fix the cable solution, uh, but there you go, it's charging and it looks pretty dang good. It's not that bad looking. So I'm gonna leave this in my car to be able to charge 
um, my, while I'm driving and you know get directions GPS and it's honestly such a good little solution for anybody that is on the go constantly and needs a good charging solution for the iPhone 12. So that's been pretty much it guys. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'd also appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It'll really help my channel grow. If you found this little hack useful for the MagSafe charger, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.